Hello guys and welcome to the first of the 7 Deadly Sins discussion series. Just a couple of topics that we'll be going over today is does Meliodas have an Endura form? If he does, what would it look like? How strong would he be? All things like that covered in this video. Before we start the video I just want to say if you do find yourself enjoying it don't forget to leave a uh, comment, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado let's get straight into it. Okay, so before we go into Meliodas' potential Endora form, let's first talk about what a demon's Endora form actually is and how one undertakes the transformation to become into a uh, Endora demon. Okay, so the Endora form that uh, elite demons can undergo is where they sacrifice six of their seven hearts to the Demon King and they undergo a transformation whereby they retain all of their original kind of animalistic behaviours and powers. This has only been seen once in the manga, I believe, and that is uh, from Monspi and Derriere. So as you can see, Monspi in this uh, Endura transformation looks very, very terrifying indeed. And this is mainly because of his ancient powers and the powers that he had as a uh, more primal demon. And so what if Meliodas was to have something like this, what would it look like? And again, how strong would it be? Before moving on, let us not forget that Derriere also went this, underwent this transformation, and as you can see, a more beast-like appearance, more beast-like increase in power, the same kind of principles apply to the both of them. Okay, so now let's talk about Meliodas' Endura form, and at, from the image you can see on screen, this is a uh, picture taken from when Hendrickson first met Meliodas. He kind of sensed an ominous power as he described, and this was the image we were given. Not really much context was given to this image, so we were only left to speculate, and from what we can tell, this could be a potential Endora form for Meliodas. Very beast-like, very unnatural, and yeah, very betroving of a Endura form. Although this is not the first time that we've noticed such a beast-like appearance, as is the case with some demons, for example. Fraudrin has a kind of beast-like appearance as he comes out of Dreyfus. Uh, Grey Road, I guess you could say, however, we know that Grey Road is a special type of demon, it's described as a queen type demon, so we can kind of rule that demon off of the list for beast-like appearances, however, for those manga readers out there, you will remember this other commandment that follows the same beast-like appearance trait. For those of you who don't know, this is Kalmidios, or Kal Kalmidos, something along those lines, and he is one of the former Ten Commandments. He was a, the commandment of piety before Zeldris was, and as you can see, same kind of beast-like appearance and pattern, and same kind of beastly powers as well. As you can see, he's kind of a melee sort of warrior, he has six arms, many weapons, and this trait is, I guess you can say, followed in weaker demons, as we know Fraudrin's one of the weakest of the Ten Commandments. Kalmidios wasn't too strong either as he was defeated by Droll and Gloxenia alongside Meliodas towards the end. You could even go as far as to say that Galland had a beast-like appearance, you know, being one of the weakest of the Ten Commandments, you can definitely tell from those elongated limbs of his that he wasn't a natural shape by any means. Anyway, to wrap up this video with the final question, how strong would Meliodas be if he was to undergo this Endura transformation? Now we don't have any kind of number or figure to go off of per se but we could imagine that it would be much stronger than his base form that's a given however i don't believe he'd be that much stronger than you know when he goes out of control when he has that kind of dark energy around him i feel as though he would maybe exceed that a little bit but not by much whatsoever now, as I say, we have some kind of background to go off with this information, as we know that Derriere and Monspeet were kind of... They put a lot of fear into Rudicel as they underwent this transformation. However, they were defeated very easily and very quickly. Although they did have a monster power transformation, their endurance wasn't really up to scratch. Anyway, if you liked the video, I know it was a bit rough. It's a first recording and it's done on my phone. But again, if you like it, if you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want me to cover a certain video that you're unsure about, please leave a comment and I would do that ASAP. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.